the Accidental Brewer, and in this episode, we are going to make a um, ginger mead. <laughs> um, so I've made this before, um, and it turned out really well. I'm, I'm very happy with it, but it's missing a few things, and I felt like I could add a little bit more to it. So um, I, what I didn't do was I didn't make it with my ginger beer recipe, just exchanging sugar for honey. So that's what I'm going to do this time. And uh, so the ingredients are to start out with, it's going to be two gallons. I'm going to make it this fermenter right here. Uh, it is going to start out with half a gallon of water. Uh, it has um, one cup of lemon juice. I tried to squeeze as much lemon juice as I can out of the little lemons that we have. And then um, th that I had to add some like already squeezed lemon juice, unfortunately, um, to it. On top of that, um, I put in a fourth of a cup of um, lime juice, that was fresh squeezed, and then half a cup of um, uh, the mandarin oranges uh, squeeze, uh, juice squeezed into this. Um, I then zested uh, one lime, one lemon, and three of the mandarin oranges, or Maybe I did that the other way. I zested first, then I squeezed, but either way. I uh, used my, um, and I may have broken my little small food processor to chop up this stuff pretty roughly. I'm not looking for tiny pieces. Uh, in the, um, the recipe, it says to grate it, um, but I really um, am not looking to get tiny pieces, so I'm gonna put this in a bag and, and all of these you know, big pieces I'm gonna put in a bag in the fermenter. Um, and then, um, I don't know exactly how many of these are, this much raisins. Um, I normally wouldn't put that much raisins into um, a brew, but I'm trying to get rid of them, so. Uh, and then one teaspoon of cream of tartar. On top of that, I'm gonna use uh, probably six pounds of uh, Florida orange blossom honey. And um, I'm gonna make myself a little yeast starter here with Lovin 71B um, yeast. I did this in our last episode and I thought it was kind of fun just to watch it start while I'm cooking all this and everything. So um, here I go putting the half packet of yeast in here to get rehydrated and reacclimated. And we'll stir that up a little bit and we'll see what ends up happening. Um, with this. Now you may also notice that I don't have my um, my normal paper towel set up out here. I unfortunately ran out of paper towels uh, the last time I was shooting so it just doesn't happen. So basically the way we start this out is we pour the uh, juice and other liquid items into this pot so that it can start its process. Uh, and then we add the uh, dry items in. Now all the utensils have been sanitized here, uh, just in case you're wondering. Um, I know that I am also going to um, have you know this pot and everything um, boiling. So I'm not as worried about the water or the pot being sanitized, but I am going to re-sanitize the areas where they were sitting um, once I get all this going. So I'm just putting it all in the pot, and then I'm gonna put it over on the stove, and it is going to cook, um, bring it to a boil for about 15 to 20 minutes, um, and then uh, we'll uh, add the honey. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the stove now. <laughs> All right, put that on high um, to get it going. And we'll be back in a few minutes once this guy going. A little longer than a few minutes later.
As you can see, this is just boiling away. We've got about 10 seconds left. All right, so while you were gone, and I was still here, I set up this thing here. It's got a muslin bag, hopefully to catch all the solids. Um, it is got you know, my temperature gauge here, uh, which reads 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, I think that's like uh, 20 ish Celsius. It's hard to tell. Um, I put 6.93 pounds of this. I tried. I was shooting for 6.8, um, or so six and a half, but. Uh, of this sweet squeeze honey in here. I haven't stirred it up, haven't mixed it really well yet. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is take this and transfer it over here. Uh, so this has gone to its boil. It's been boiling for 15 minutes. Um, I feel like it's extracted all of the stuff that it's supposed to. And so I'm gonna pull it out, pour it through the muslin, through the strainer, and hopefully um, I'll be in a spot where I want to be with this liquid and these solids. Um, but we'll see here in a moment. And then I'm gonna mix everything together. That was mostly successful. I'm happy with that. Um, I'll see if I can take a picture of this here in a moment so that you can get all of the goodies. But it got the most of the solids in the bag. I don't think I got any out. There's still some left in here. So that is good. Um, all right, let's mix this stuff together. See if I can get the honey mixed in well. Take this out a little bit. And I'll check the gravity. I think I'm gonna have to add some more water to this. It doesn't seem like it's quite up to the two gallon mark. So, all right, that came off. This feels a lot warmer than 80 degrees, but you know, I'm also a person who uh, tends to run a little hot all the time. So <laughs> it may not be uh, too hot. It may just be that I'm running hot. gallon of water here and I think I'm just going to pull this up to the spot that I believe it should be. That is about the two gallon mark, maybe a little bit more. Gives me some headroom to lose some stuff and I need to drop this down in. Should have put some uh, marbles in it to make it sink. Didn't think about doing that. Would have been smart, Joe. Smart guy. Could have been a smart guy. All right. So the honey's mixed in. Um, so that ended up being about a gallon of water that I added. So with the honey, um, that makes it roughly two gallons. Need to check the temperature. And I'm sure it's still too hot to pitch the yeast. Probably too hot, hot to take a reading on. Yeah, it's around 100 degrees, roughly. So, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put this through my cooling, my wart cooler. Uh, which I had sitting over to the side just in case this happened. And I'll be back once it's cooled. Um. I know you're not supposed to run like water back into this thing, and I could just put it down the drain, but the water is like, you know, 50 degrees uh, in there, and it didn't heat up last time uh, when it was recirculating through. So I found that to be kind of interesting. So I'm just going to try and see what it does. But as you can see right now, it's been about five minutes and it went from 100 degrees down to like 81 or two. So we're moving toward being in a good spot. I'll be back in a few. All right, so we've cooled it down. 
to around 75, 80 degrees, uh, which is low enough for me to see what the OG is um, now. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'll pitch my yeast if I'm happy with it and go from there. So one thing that I don't normally do is add raisins to my ginger beer. Uh, I realized that I didn't explain that before. Um, yeah, so ginger beer for me is generally, um, whoa, that is way too high. That is 1.035. <laughs> I mean, that could be a couple points high or low, depending on how things are. But uh, that, is, that is a little high, 1.035. So I think what I'm going to do is pour some of this liquid out. Um, maybe just take it and move it back over into this and then add a little bit more liquid to the uh, little bit of water to it to make it less. I wonder why it went so high. Maybe because I boiled out some of the sugars of the uh, ginger beer. I don't know. That's crazy, man. Take a little bit out. We'll see if I need to bring it down lower on top of that. Fine if it's like 1.1, but I think I'm gonna have to pour out a good bit more of this. Yeah, because it's like 1.12. One, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna pour this over here. I can just get it down just a little bit more. I'd be fairly happy with the uh, the brew. I mean, Walden 71B is only a 15% ABV. Um, and that's around 1.1. So. Yeast tolerance is only 15%, is what I'm trying to say. Let's see where we are now. It's at 1.11. I think I'll call that okay. Um, and then. I want to go get another fermenter and uh, set this up because you know this fermenter and that fermenter will be slightly different and I'll see if actually adding the the you know ginger stuff in the primary actually does anything um, to make this better so we're at 1.11 and So I know I don't need the full starter in here. I'll mix this up a little bit. I'll put about half of it in. Um, and we'll see if that works out. I'll put the other half in this other one. I ended up making a three gallon batch. Masterfully done, Joe. All right. 
to go get some water. All right, let's add this in and let's see uh, what sort of gravity we get. We may have something more like a beer in here. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't be hurt if it was a lower ABV mead. Okay, gives me a little bit of head room and everything. Let's see what the, uh, what the gravity is. Now keep in mind, everything here has been sanitized before I started touching this liquid stuff. But also keep in mind that uh, this is technically the same mead, just at two different um, ABVs. So definitely the color is a bit different. Um, it's much more watery here. So let's see what that came down to. Okay, so interesting. It is at 1.04. So maybe I'll add a little bit more honey to this just to bring it up. I don't want it to be too high, but it should probably be more than what it is. So. All right. This is what I'm going to call the experimental ginger meat. Get to see me do this on the fly. All right. Making corrections as I go. So I'm just going to add roughly a pound of honey and I don't want to overshoot too much. So it's at one pound point oh three ounces. Um, which is great. Mm. Honey is so good. Mm. Very, very good. Mm. All right. Mm. Let's see, this should be around 1.073 or something like that. I will, be, I will not be putting the liquid I take out back in just because it's a little bit too much. All right. Let's see what we're looking at. Yep, it's like 1.075. That's great. That's about where I want. All right, so I'm gonna stir this for just a little bit longer just to get us more oxygen. But um, yeah, this has been the Accidental Brewer. Um, hopefully these two end up being really great ginger meads. I'm not sure exactly how they'll end up tasting or being, but um, hope, hopefully they'll be good. So just to recap, we got three gallons out of our batch. <laughs> Should have only made two gallons. But I miscalculated uh, some of the liquid amounts that I was putting into things, um, specifically the water that I added to the um, honey that I added to it. So probably should only add two and a half pounds per gallon. Um, but that said, thank you for watching The Accidental Brewer. We have social links down below for Patreon, Instagram, and Twitter. We'd love for you to subscribe and hit the bell so that you can be notified whenever new videos come out. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Thank you so much.